Hello, my name is David Webb, and this is a video for DweeboVision. I am a Scrabble Grandmaster, and in this video I am going to play Scrabble while providing in-game commentary on my moves. Hopefully this will help to improve your game, and be fun to watch. The game has just started, so let's join the action. My opponent has gone first. I have an interesting rack. It looks like it may be close to a bingo. And I've got a few floaters to consider. I don't think Untilty is good, so I don't think I have a seven-letter bingo. I do have the L-Y ending, and the I-L-Y ending, and the unbeginning. So do I have anything through the E-V or O? Can't see anything through the E, and that's probably the most promising. Okay. So, I can't see anything. I'm now looking to sort this rack out as quickly as possible. I do also need to consider column 11 in case I've got a double, double, non-bingo. So, Lutian doesn't quite fit. I wish to play off the Y and the U and one of the T's, because those are the non bingo -y components on the rack. So can I do that? And I'm looking in column 11 to get the play doubled by playing through the E. Well, this is quite a tricky opening rack to deal with. I could play Nutty across here. It's not going to score very much, but it will get rid of my problem tiles, and it opens the board up. So only 14 points. So can I do any better than that? I'm just wondering about Nutterly. Let's try this. Nutterly. Not sure about it at all. Very low probability word. And if it comes off, I'll wish I hadn't seen it. So I'm holding my breath to see if this is challenged. Wow. Okay, well, either Nutterly is good, or it's an unchallenged phony. And that's given me an unexpected initial bingo. I only saw that just before I played it. Now, what do I what do I have on my rack at the moment? I don't think I have a bingo through an R. I would have Seahorse or Seashore. I've used up over four minutes on that opening move, so I need to keep an eye on the time. It was, however, worth it since I've got a got a bingo out of it. Now, I can play off one of my S's. I'm wondering about playing Heats down here. Hayat's probably slightly better. Thirty four points, reasonable score. Providing quite a good opportunity, though, placing a vowel next to a double letter square, and I'm only five points ahead despite that bingo. And OSE is keeping a slightly vowel heavy let rack leave. So maybe I can do better than that. And I'm looking here. This is a good spot for the H.
I'm trying to find a way of playing off the O, but it doesn't go either side of the H in this spot. So I could play how here, keeping double E, double S, 35 points, that's a good score. And the duplicates are not problematic duplicates. Well, I'm a little way away from a bingo here. My G can go in front of HI. And I can still put my S on the end of Zap. OG is quite a nice play, which would certainly sort out the duplicates. How How is nice in that, that, and by how I mean the word I've just played, because it doesn't provide any easy opportunities for my opponent to score. If I'd played Hayets, that double word square next to the A would have been really easy for my opponent to get a decent score off. At the moment, OG does play in row I, making a po. And I could play OGs further across in row I, making oys. That's not, neither of those is going to be for a particularly big score. I'm looking to see if I can place my O underneath the Z. But apart from just playing ZO or OE, I can't see any other ways of doing that. OE scores 16 points. Flowy, I don't think that's good. Great, comes off. Phonies always cause psychological damage. Now, what can I do about that? It's clear my opponent does not have bingo -y tiles. Well, the trouble with playing OG here is that my opponent can put one of his heavy tiles immediately underneath the E for a lot. I'm only getting 12 points, so I don't want to do that. So what else have I got? I could play Goose in column 10, which takes out those scoring tiles used by my opponent. Only scores 12 points, it would be nice to score more than that. And time is ticking down. I haven't had any easy plays yet. I could play Vago in column 9, but again the score is so, so s small. So what about playing OE here? 16 points, score's not bad. Rack leave is not good. I'm looking in column 4 to see if I can take advantage of the zaps spot. I can't see a way of doing that without using both S's, which I don't want to do. The 
This is just such a tough rack. Well, what about G-O-E? The reason I didn't like O-E and Zo is that the G was un bingo -y. This gets rid of the E. 15 points, only one fewer point. I think this is the best I've seen so far. And it doesn't provide a great opportunity for my opponent. Now, this looks pretty good. Through an O, I would have resolves. There is an O in column 10. Fantastic. And it stays available. Superb. So, I've got resolves, I think. Do I have something better? I've got the less ending with R, E, V. So I'm looking in column 11 to see if I've got anything through the E of Evo, which would get doubled. Can't see anything there. Can't see anything in row K. There's a beautiful double-double row beginning underneath the E of few for a word beginning R, E. But I don't think I have a 7 on this rack. And it's good to play a bingo at any time, but in particular when you've burnt a lot of time on earlier moves, because playing off a lot of tiles helps prevent you getting into time trouble, because it expedites the end of the game. Resolve 71. And that's a pretty good pickup. I have raisonne through the second S of resolves. It doesn't take an S. There aren't many other floaters available, so that may get taken. I don't think I have a seven-letter bingo. The double-double row, or lane in row K, is still available. Wow, raison A remains available. That's fortunate. I don't think it has an anagram. Quite a high probability word. So, raison a 68. And I draw the Q and the X, which are good scoring tiles. I've now got a 140 point lead. Certainly not a bingo rack, but I should be able to score well with the Q and the X over the next couple of goes. I've got the I for going with the Q to make Chi. And there are ends available for Chin. I've also got Fakir on my rack. Well, I haven't seen anywhere immediately where that can play. Ah, column 8 through the A of Raisonne, Fakir plays. My preference is to play the Q off before the X because... It's a far less flexible tile. The X features in more bingos, and it's just generally a good tile to have on your rack, whereas the Q, it can score well, but it can also be a troublesome tile if you haven't got a good scoring spot for it. Now I'm wondering with resolves, just for future reference, whether it takes a P in front, there is one P unplayed, and I think it does. Now, my Fakir spot stays available, which is great. And I don't mind keeping vowels, a vowel-heavy rack leaf, because the power tiles benefit from vowels. So Fakir 51, I'm just pausing in case my opponent has provided an amazing opportunity, and he nearly did. I I nearly had fakes, F-A-I-X, playable in column one, but I-L isn't good. 51 for Fak here. And that looks pretty good. If I can play off my X this go, I should have a pretty bingo rack lead. I've got a 170 point lead at the moment. There may be eight-letter bingos with these tiles. Exonerate is a nine. So 
So my opponent would need to, well, Exonerate doesn't play through Raisonne because the N is too low. So where are the good spots for my X? It would be ideal to play off two vowels with the X. So a play of XO would probably be best. Can't see anywhere amazing for that immediately. I could play XO in row K, but I would only be... I'm sorry, let me take that back. XO is not good. Well, I could play in row M underneath the second N of raison A for over 30 points. I have got some longer words like oxter, but if I can keep a good four or five tile rack leave, that would be my preference. I'm looking around for any X spots I haven't considered. Now, what about the X in the triple letter square in column 14? If I could put my X there and get the word doubled, it would be a 50 point play. Can't see a way of doing that. Oxter is one letter short. Well, I guess there's also column 13, if I can get my X on the double letter square at I13 and get that doubled, that would also be a decent score. <laughs> 25 points for my opponent, and he's taken my XO spot. So, what to do with this rack? I didn't have a candidate move in mind. I've only got nine minutes left and there are 34 tiles, so I certainly can't tarry. But I have to have something to play. Gosh, tricky, tricky rack. Doesn't look that hard. So, what about just playing X here? 31 points, which is good. But it's such a shame that I'm not just playing off the O as well, because that would significantly increase the binguiness of this rack leave. I'm just at too much risk of drawing an additional vowel and having a non non bingo rack next go. I could extend this but I can't see a good way of doing that. Well, I am going to go with this, but I don't like it. And that's the problem. Only got to draw one more vowel, and I have a non bingo rack, and I've got no scoring tiles. I do have an O for going after X to make XO, and RE takes an O. Right, some floaters to consider. 36 points, a good score for my opponent. I can play Yato in column 15. 24 points. Q 
Can't see any bingos through the floaters my opponents provided, or through the end of Raisonne. So this is what I'm thinking of. Rackleave isn't great. But there are two vowel uh, sorry, two blanks unplayed, so it's good to play off four tiles. Pretty good. No duplicate tiles. a D, uncoiled and possibly undocile. Great, challenged by my opponent. Now, do I have anything through the R's of Fakir or Tardy? If I do, I may have an unblockable bingo. Well, I can't see anything. Now my C can go in front of HI in row E. Al Euronic is good, and that's a nine letter word. Great, only 16 points for my opponent. I've got a 150 point lead, six minutes left, but 20 tiles in the bag. So, what do I want to do? Now, what about column one? Can't see a way of using well, that to good effect. Well, I'm struggling with this rack. Not really generating any ideas. Trouble is, this is a really bingo rack, and I can't see a good way of getting rid of the U. Okay, well, I better play something. Well, this takes out a floater. Plays off a lot of tiles, so it increases the chances of drawing one of those blanks and sorts out the rack heaviness, the vowel heaviness, rather. Only 14 points, so not a great move. Can't see anything, anything here. Well, ulcering through an I, but the I of Fakir is obstructed by the L of Jail. I could play curling in row N for not many points, but burning a lot of tiles and taking out two bingoey floaters. I am mindful of the time. I've drawn the second C, and my G as well can go in front of HI, so I could play Klung in row E, that's a slightly better play I think, and the RE is a good rack lead. So Klung and GHI, quite a nice play. And again, good to play off a lot of tiles with these two blanks unplayed. My opponent's still got 10 minutes left on his clock, so he's not in time trouble. The tiles that are left are not especially bingo-y, except for the fact that there are two vowel, two blanks, there's no S's left, and no R's and no T's. 
and quite a few high scoring tiles. So I think whoever gets the blanks should bingo. There may be only one bingo left in this game. And I think with a 160 point lead, I should be able to survive a bingo. I note that my opponent's play of Dodd does take an O after it. Ah, so maybe last go, instead of playing Curio, I could have played something beginning C-O. I think I just had a mental block on that last move. I just wasn't generating ideas. Well, my opponent may have the blanks because he has taken a while over this move. If he bingoes through the sea of Curio, then he will be opening up row A. But I don't have a great rack for taking advantage of that. So I'm, what I'm thinking about doing is playing Klung and Gi in row E. 23 points, which is an OK score. And it's getting rid of a lot of tiles. Well... I'm now feeling more and more convinced that my opponent does have one or both blanks. There are 17 tiles in the bag, so if he does bingo, there'll just be 10 in the bag. And then if I play Klung, there'll be 5. Great! Well, he's got a bingo -y score, and there goes one of the blanks. But he didn't. Bingo. So, this is what I was thinking of playing. Clung for 23. And I don't draw the second blank, so my opponent may well have it. I can't see anything through the R of Fakir or the C of Curio. I'm just considering the N of Rez... Oh, 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 oh. I've just noticed my opponent has put an S on the end of Raisonne's. Raisonne, when he played Snit, and that's a phony. I just didn't spot that. Definitely should have challenged that off, and then I could have played XO in row M. Well, that was an oversight. I don't think it will change the outcome of the game, but it's annoying, especially having made a point of commenting on the fact that Rezone doesn't take an S. Now, I've got four minutes left. Seven tiles unseen. My opponent opens the board up for a bingo. I could play Grace in row B. What would be better? Just making sure that in my mind that I don't have a bingo with this rack. I'm considering geo as a prefix and age as a suffix, but I can't see anything. I don't think perinage is good. Ah, ah, ah. I was thinking of paragon, but I don't quite have the letters for that. Opera goa is good. That's a nine. I would need O blank R for that. That doesn't exist.
so. Just under three minutes left. Gray scores 24 points and keeps quite a flexible rack lead. There's only six fouls left out of 13. Not a great pickup. Well, I draw the P, but the Presolves hook has been taken out by Tardy. I have a 150 point lead, so if my opponent bingos in row C, he won't be catching me. I've got scoring tiles in the B and the P. Onto a P, I would have Bo Peep. G takes an A in front, so I'm looking in row A. So either the A or the blank could make a word ending above the G of grace. Row C, I've got Boep. Okay, great. Only 19 points for my opponent, and I can now take out this spot. Well, beep is actually going to be better. 21 points, and I'll be drawing one tile, and hopefully I will have a choice of outs. Well, my opponent may have a bingo through the N of Raisonnes or the R of Fakir. Now, do I have an out? This rack makes N out. I've got row N in row O. Do I have something else? Yes, I have E now in column 14 beside Iato, and that's going to score more. I do have an O for going after Dodd, but I can't see a way of going out in that spot. I may in any event not have the opportunity to if my opponent can find a bingo. The B and the two M's look unlikely, but he's got a good vowel consonant balance, and he does have the blank, so there could be something there. I'm just wondering about marimbos. I'm not sure about that. My opponent has got four minutes left, and I have got two. So we're both in good shape time-wise. So can I do better than N now in column 14? 19 points for that. I don't think this rack makes any other four-letter words. Can't see anything through the E. Sorry, right through the N of Raisonnes. Owner is good, so as well as Rowan in Row O, I've got Owner. I'm looking in row I after the L of resolves, but Laun doesn't work. Doesn't work because EO is not good. Thirty-three points for my opponent. He was unable to find a find a bingo. And this is the best out I've seen. 
19 points. OK, and the final score, 327 to my opponent, 473 to me, a winning margin of 146 points. So, a big, big win. Slightly annoying about letting my opponent get away with raisonnés, but that sort of thing does on occasion happen. Now, let's see what I missed. Yep, there's confirmation of the raisonnés phony. My opponent went fast. I had nutterly and took forever to find it. And all the other options there you can see are pretty low scoring. This is where I played how for 35. Yeah, and there were some similar moves available, some of which may have been slightly better. This was a troublesome rack to resolve, especially in the knowledge of that my opponent had some high-scoring tiles. So I think go is okay. Wow, I saw resolves for 71. What I didn't see was sleevers as a double-double in row in column 11. That would have been... A much better play, 94 points, an extra 23 points. Well, I wasn't sure of that word and I didn't spot it. This is where I had Raisonne and that was the only bingo. And this is where I played Fakir and that looks best. This is where I should have challenged off my opponent's play and would then have had the opportunity of playing XO in row M. I was unhappy with my play. I played X, which is the third play down there, but I didn't really like keeping the vowel excess with no scoring tiles. So I13 XO may have been a better play. I played Yato for 24. Royalette at B15. Yep, I think that would have been a better play, especially with two blanks unseen. Gosh, horrible rack for my opponent. Now, this is where I, I just struggled. I was not generating ideas. And, well, there certainly were a whole bunch of possibilities there. Ursioli, quite nice in column... 13, burning off 6 tiles, and not providing any floaters. But no massive scores there. I played Klung at E2, and that looks fine. And this is where I played Grace for 24. I could have played Purse in the same spot for six more points, but probably not a huge difference between those plays. Well, my opponent has Anno Bayed, and he could play that in row C. Let's just have a look. Yeah. Difficult word to spot. Pen at M3. Ah, oh, well, that's taking the spot which my opponent went on to play Mam in, so that might have been a good idea. Instead, I played Beep. Did my opponent have a bingo? No, he didn't, but he had various 40-point plays available to him. And finally, E now at G14 was the highest scoring play. So, an interesting game. Quite a few bingos, one phony, a comfortable win. And I think there was um, some troublesome racks to deal with. Certainly the Curio one really um, really took my time dealing with that and didn't come up with a particularly good option. But sometimes that happens and either you just 
don't see words or your mind appears to freeze and what you need to do when that happens is not to uh, fret but to find a word and consider its merits see if you can find another one which is slight, which is better and continue that whilst keeping an eye on the clock and not spending forever so i uh, hope you enjoyed watching that uh, game and got something out of it my name is david webb and this has been a video for dweebo vision